this is our job today. Got a shop here, another house here. Property line goes down and along the bottom. All these firs go. They're uh, endangering this house and shop. So everything's gonna go. We're gonna leave that far one. A couple of these lean pretty good. There's a couple on the other side of the fence there. Mike's got his new hat on. He's styling and profiling. <laughs> My professional opinion, I think both of those should be limbed up quite a bit, just so when we take that one, those lower branches don't hit the yeah, awning. Yeah, that far side, yeah. and then the one behind it definitely, definitely it's got some long ones. Let's wait on those. Okay. Let's and go over this other side. These two can go, those two can go, those ones down there can go. That split double next to the house, the back one will stay for now, put a cable in it. Then those two over there, we can put a cable in, but the rest of these we can take. All right. I'm all fueled up. I'm going to grab her. Running my old 044 today. These were great saws. I got lucky when I found this one. In really good shape. After this one, we should start laying those other ones out. next one here is gonna be tight that one right there I'm gonna lay it out right here towards the corner but I can't brush in all these so I'm gonna have to kind of stay a little bit high of the fence I'm gonna leave my phone here a little bit high so I don't get close to that Mike's rocked three chains already caught a piece of rebar up there he's pissed <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Right in there. Actually thought it was gonna land a little further. I thought it would get down into here. Yeah, you you know what? You thought wrong. But reading a tree from down downside of it always gives a different view. So I didn't quite reach as far as I thought, but it laid out okay. <laughs> Having a hell of a day with Chain. Wow. What are you doing? It happens. <laughs> That one had you nervous. I seen you speeds of sweat rolling off. <laughs> <laughs> Bucked itself. That's firewood anyhow. <laughs> Oh, 
I didn't realize it was leaning that hard. Me neither. Well, that wind was blowing. Yeah. I figured it was gonna set back and then started to go and my wedge fell out. That's for the high stop police right there. Oh yeah. As many changes you rock today, you deserve it. I know. <laughs> How many is that, four? I'm on number four, yeah. I think I'm on a, uh... well, I didn't actually rock one. I had a bad chain out of the box or out of my grinder. So did I, and then I hit rebar twice. I hit the same piece of rebar twice. All right, you cut or you bucker. Now we're gonna try to get this one to lay out over there. It's really leaning back, heavy limbs, but we got the wind coming this way. So. Till we get these sunk. I can't even get these in. I have to get the old Jackie Jack. Breeze kicks up, I'm gonna just wail on it. <laughs> oh yeah, there she comes. Probably should cut more of these branches off. Worst case scenario, I can go get the Jack, put it in right here. I got I'm another Try to double stack right here. What's that? We try to double stack them here. I don't wanna get, you know, stuck in there. You wanna just double stack and then can't get her, we'll just lift them out, cut them out. Yeah. But I'd like the jack to be on that side. This side? Yeah. Right here. Let's go get the jack. I'm gonna beat our guts out here.
one of those wedges and put it in the face over there. Should I cut more? on the face. You didn't cut the face deep enough. There it goes. Residential trees, you gotta watch for nails, barbed wire. We learned that the hard way. All very acidic, above the shoulders, mustard shit. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. It kind of can wake some people out. <laughs> This is the little 44 that could. This little baby's laid out a lot of wood. On the uh hopefully last tree of the day here right next to the house it's right next to this house leans back yeah we got heavy limbs all the limbs are on the back on the back side here but we got our jack so we're just going to take our time and see if we can get her down without hitting that fence i'm going to aim just right on that top side of that stump so here we go let's finish this damn thing <clears throat> we got a good amount of meat back here yeah. Is your face deep enough so it don't sit on the face when it goes? Yeah, we're going to be way over by that time. Okay. Ah! Uh -huh. 
prop for today. The 044 ran pretty good, just like she always does. These were really good saws back in the day. I got this one, it was barely used, so it rides in my truck all the time. Once in a while I use it, but uh, if you're ever gonna buy one of these 044s, um, most of you guys might know this, but there was a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter crank. And the wrist pin was 10 millimeter round versus 12 millimeter, and they don't make the 10 millimeter um, crank anymore so the way that you can tell on these 044s if you're getting a 10 millimeter or 12 if you're going to go buy one is look at the serial number up on the front of the case up here and if the serial number is less than 13,000 it's probably a 10 millimeter if it's over 13,000 it's a 12 millimeter and the 12 millimeter ones are really great you know they got better crank in them and you can get all the parts and stuff so anyway hope you like the video and We'll uh, get at you next time. Say goodbye, Mike.